Bear with me, y'all. You're stacked on a couple of candles. Okay. So, hey guys, welcome to my channel or back to my channel if you're new. So we all know that Valentine's Day is coming up and we need to learn our lesson from Christmas and start now. We need to start now. So I'm gonna learn my lesson from Christmas and y'all better learn your lesson from Christmas. It's 2024, it's a new year. We need to start crocheting things way beforehand so we're not rushing and crunching to get them done day before or day of. Today is Thursday, January 18th. Valentine's Day is less than a month away, which gives me a good amount of time to crochet everything I need and hopefully a good amount of time for y'all to crochet everything y'all need. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a bunch of crochet Valentine's Day ideas for your mom, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your sister, your brother, your best friend, your best friend's neighbor, whatever, everybody. I'm giving y'all the lowdown of all of the crochet ideas that I was able to come up with. Maybe y'all have some, put them in the comments. I don't know, but that's what today's video is gonna be about. So if you see me looking down at my phone, I'm referencing the Pinterest board I made with everything on it. And I will link a Google Doc and the link to the Pinterest in the description box. And the Google Doc will have all the patterns. And all of these patterns are free. So they're not all like the exact pattern, but they're like parts of the pattern. So if I give you guys like a flower bouquet, I'll give you guys tulip tutorial, rose tutorial. So you could do it like you put it all together yourself because a lot of these patterns don't have their own pattern. So you have to kind of make it yourself. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys two topics. We're gonna have one just standalone items. Like if you wanna just get your mom a flower bouquet, boom. But the second option is baskets because you know like burr baskets boo baskets christmas baskets birthday baskets they're like the, they're on trend right now and they're actually really smart and easy and cute and it accumulates fast and it's very thoughtful so that's my second thing we're gonna get into but first let's get into the first thing which is standalone options or standalone projects starting off strong flower bouquet you can get a flower bouquet for your mom, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your dad. You can get a flower bouquet for everyone. So I think a flower bouquet is a really, really safe option if you don't know what to make. You can make a flower bouquet of their favorite show. There's some Coraline, Hello Kitty, Rapunzel, Winnie the Pooh, Princess the Frog, Spider-Man. Like you can make their favorite character into a flower bouquet or you could make them just a regular like Ramu Buchan. I don't know if I said that right. You can make like a flower pot. There's just so many types of flower bouquets you can make. I really like the, and I think the one I'm gonna make is the Spider-Man one. Or honestly, I might just make the Hello Kitty one for myself because it's so cute. It's so cute, but you can go on Amazon and order like a really cute little vase and put it in a vase or you could just wrap it up like a flower bouquet like you normally would. But I think this is a really, really cute option for the women in your life. And even the men, you know, guys deserve flowers too, honestly. I feel like flowers go to girls a lot, but I think like a guy would really appreciate some flowers, you know? And you can make them so they're not like feminine. Make them like blue flowers or like Spider-Man flowers. You know, I feel like that it just goes a long way because it's much deeper than just a flower bouquet. Like it's flipping the script on them, you know? And I just feel like it's, I feel like they'll be very grateful for flowers. I don't know, my boyfriend would be very grateful for flowers. <laughs> flower bouquet is really, really good option. Obvious, standard, everybody got it. So. Next, on the standalone items, I thought it would be so cute to make a crochet chocolate box. Because you know how for Valentine's Day, normally you get like flower box, I mean not flower boxes, sorry. You get chocolate boxes, and I feel like it would be so cute if you made one. Like you can you can buy a regular chocolate box and a crochet one and just be like, I got you chocolate. You know, I just feel like that's so cute. And you could put them in a square container, you could put them in a heart curtain. You can put them in whatever shape you want. And I just feel like it's so unique. Like I've never seen anybody do this. And I don't know, I feel kind of like smart for thinking of it. <laughs> Next on the standalone item, I actually have one right here. You can make a cake. Isn't this so cute? I just feel like it's giving Valentine's Day. And you can make them like their favorite colors. So if it's like, if they like blue, you can make a blueberry cake, put blueberries on top. If they like orange, you can make an orange cake, put oranges on top, apple, you know, whatever their favorite flavor or whatever their favorite color is. I feel like it'd be so fun to just customize them a little cake. And the thing about these cakes is they're boxes. Like I put all my claw clips in them and I just feel like they're so useful. Like they're cute and they're useful. So cakes are a good one. You can also use them to store your jewelry, your hair ties, your makeup. What do boys use? Um.
your socks. I don't really know what guys use. You can make that for a guy. I just don't know what they would put in it. Or you could even make one of the crochet, these cake boxes and put stuff in it for them. Like you can put little, you know, the little like, but uh, confetti, you could put like little confetti things in there and then put little goodies in there. Something I really like want to do if I do make something like this for somebody is wrap it in like a little, a literal cake box. And I feel like that's so cute and you can even get a cake box that's not clear so then they're like really thinking that they're getting a cake and then they're open it and they're like that's so cute you know so i think cake is a really good option even though it's not really valid or you can even do like a cupcake like a valentine's day cupcake you know just something like that i know it's kind of birthday -y, but i don't know i feel like it's kind of valentine's day too so that's really all i have for like standalone items we got all of our types of flowers character flowers regular flowers hard flowers just everybody's favorite flowers and then we have our crochet chocolate box isn't that like you and our cro crochet cake box so those are all i have really for standalone items now let's get into the baskets that's what y'all came for that's what i'm here for here's what you're, here's what we're gonna do okay here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get a thick yarn we're making the basket we're not buying we're not no no if we're gonna go for it we're gonna go all the way through we're gonna buy we're gonna make the basket we're not buying anything make your basket there are so many cute basket patterns online so whatever design your significant other parent guardian friend whatever design they like i promise you it exists somewhere you can make whatever you want and that's what's so cute about it you don't have to just buy it and baskets baskets are expensive um at the store like it's like 20 dollars for like a, a regular size basket which makes no sense to me so yeah i'm making my basket and you don't even have to sorry i keep sass flipping you know <coughs> mm. Mm. making a basket i feel like it can add up because that thick yarn that people use like the t-shirt yarn people use for baskets is expensive but i'm not gonna do that here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna layer all my yarn together and that's what i'm gonna use to make my basket so i'm gonna just use a bunch of scrap yarns put them together and make my basket so now we have our basket now we're gonna put the goodies inside of it and best believe all the goodies are gonna be crocheted make your basket put little do y'all know what i'm talking about the, like the little confetti stuff the little Stuff you put in baskets, yeah, we're gonna put that in there. And then we're gonna start putting our goodies in there. So, our first category, which is an obvious one, is plushies. There are so many types of plushies you can make, and who doesn't like a plushie? Plushie you can make is an obvious one, which is their favorite animal or favorite character or favorite anything. Like, just their favorite anything. Just look up crochet, amigurumi, and then whatever animal you want. Anything. Make them a plushie. Plushie always goes in these baskets. Always. Always. The next thing we put, a keychain. I think that keychains are so smart, especially for your significant other. Not so much your mom or your dad or your friend because, or actually, you know what? That could work if you give like a keychain to your friend with you and her, a picture of you and them, or like your parent with a picture of you and them, or your parent with like, you know, my mom would like a picture of my dog. So that's like, if your parents love your dog more than you, you can put a picture of your dog. A keychain, a standard heart one. There's plenty of keychain patterns out there. I don't even have to link them. You can make a heart one with like a picture. You can buy these little picture frames on Amazon and get like a little small one and print out a picture of y'all and put it in there. And then they can have like a cute little keychain. They could put it on their keys or their lanyard or their bag or anything. So I feel like that's super smart, easy, and cute and quick so it'll fill up your basket next on the list we have our accessories let me get the ipad let me get the i have all the patterns here so we're gonna go through the first accessory on the list is headphone charms i feel like this is a really good item to make somebody if they always wear their headphones or if they're a gamer if they're a gamer, get them some headphone charms. You can get the little leaf one up here. You can make a little dangly one. Or you can even make the dangly ones and put y'all's initials on it. Stop, I ate with that. I ate. Perfect. Some headphone covers are a really good option for your gamers, for your music lovers, and for your tech workers. I don't know. Or even like a little headphone case for their headphones. Throw that in the basket. Boom, on to the next. Our next accessory is, I don't really know if this is an accessory, but it's like a, it's like room decor almost. And like something that, sorry, I'm really filling this Apple Pencil and I'm not putting it down for the rest of the video. We're, yeah, I'm not putting the Apple Pencil away. It found its way to me, I'm not letting it go. Y'all should have never let me find it. The next thing is for all my girlies whose boyfriend or girlfriend wears hats all the time. If you know somebody, or not even girlfriend, boyfriend, even like your sibling or even your dad or your mom, I don't know, whoever you know in your life, 
that you love that will always, always, always wearing hats, baseball caps, get them a hat rack. Because where do people store hats? All my hats are behind this mirror on the floor because I don't know where to put my hats. So get somebody or make somebody, sorry, we're making, we're not buying. Crochet somebody a hat rack. I found this on Pinterest and I think it's so cute and creative. It's like you just hang it on your wall or they can hang it on, let me stop trying to get creative. They can hang it on their wall and they can put all their hats down a line. It's just really thoughtful. Like you, you, don't, you don't really see that anywhere. So I just think it's really thoughtful to make them a little hat rack like that. So yeah, hat rack for sure. Oh, next accessory is for all my people with long hair. You can make them hair accessories. So you can make them a scrunchie or a headband or... Yeah, that's about all I got. Or you can make them some Valentine's Day themed headbands because I know headbands are the style right now. They're so cute. Anything just red and pink to make your basket look cohesive. Make sure your basket and the items in your basket match don't get like a blue with the red with the green with the you know trying to make it match and make it look visually pleasing and also make it their favorite colors i got you i got you don't even worry about it now i think that's it for accessories now we're gonna get into headwear headgear head things you wear on your head because it is cold it is cold and we need our hats and our beanies so first thing we can do is make really cute beanies and you whenever you think beanie like you probably think like the basic ribbed beanie no you can go farther than that you can make animal hats you can make heart beanies it's like there's so many different types of hats or i'm tr i'm just sticking to beanies here because it's cold outside but you can make a st standard bucket hat if you'd like but beanies are a really cute option and you can engrave your name in it like you could put y'all's initial yours your initial your name you could put hearts on it you could just design it however you want and i think it's just a really good like i'm trying to not call it a, st a stocking stuffer because this is not christmas but what would be a basket stuffer i guess a basket stuffer it would be a really cute basket stuffer and then of course the headbands like i said next we're going to get into footwear and i know you're thinking footwear the hell is this girl talking about no listen hear me out hear me out hear me out so you know how whenever you give people things you always who you're you're actually mentally insane if you don't put fuzzy socks in people's gifts. That's like the go-to. If you give anybody a gift and you want it to look full, you put fuzzy socks in it. Everybody puts fuzzy socks in their gifts. Everybody. So, instead of buying fuzzy socks, we're gonna make them. Because I know you were gonna buy them anyways, so just make them. Yeah, fuzzy socks. I feel like that's so cute and thoughtful. Like, who wouldn't want fuzzy socks? And the thing about crocheting, the thing I love about it, and I'm gonna keep saying it, is that you can design it however you want. You could put your name on it. You could put your initial on it. You know, you can do, you can design it however you want. And that's my favorite thing about it. So fuzzy socks is a really good option. Then on top of fuzzy socks, slippers. I've been seeing these crochet slippers on Pinterest and y'all probably have too, the sloth ones. They're so cute and they look so comfy. Those will fill your basket up for sure. Your basket is probably full already. So throw those in your basket and you can be done. You can end this video right here. All right, so that's it for foot gear. This one is something I just kind of threw in there. And it's like, um, again, if you have a gamer, a significant other, or a, if the person you're giving things to games, get them a, or make them, hmm? let me stop saying get them, make them a crochet mouse pad. They're so cute. I saw it on Pinterest, it is so cute. You can make it lacy just to add like your own little spark to it or you can make it, you can make it however you want. You can make a square, circle, whatever. But I just think this is so clever or you could even make like a, y'all know the pixel art, what's it called? So like, you know these, these like alpha grid type things, you can make them a keypad in one of these, a mouse pad. <laughs> You can make them a mouse pad and decorate it like these so then it has their favorite favorite anything favorite tv show favorite game favorite character your name i'm gonna keep sneaking that in there or even a tapestry i don't know i just thought that was really creative next on the list is car hangings so this one is not just for cars whenever you see car hangings you see them only on cars but they're actually just charms that you can put on your bags too. You don't just have to use them for the car. You can put them on your bags. I don't know what else you could put them on, but you can put them on whatever you want. They just they just tie. Like you just you can just tie them or like knot them, and you can put them wherever you want. But you can make those. There's like one a really cute one that says "I heart you." I'm making that one. That is so cute. 
You can make one of those. You can make, again, their favorite character. Or you can just do a standard heart one for Valentine's Day. That one is really cute too. And you can put your initial in it. So yeah, the last thing on the list is if you still want to fill up the bag. I mean the basket, sorry. You can make a bag. And you can make a bag for anyone. Everybody likes a bag. Everybody loves a tote bag. Everybody loves a purse. You can make a bag. Simple, standard, easy. That's my Valentine's Day crochet list of ideas that you guys can make and we gotta get started now my next video well not my next video but maybe like my, my next next video i'm definitely gonna be filming me making my crochet basket because i'm not playing this year i'm not i played around the last few years but i'm not playing this year mm -mm. we are getting our stuff done ditto just remember that all the patterns are linked in the description box free I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a subscription. <sighs> and um, let me know what you guys are going to make. Or if you guys have more ideas, put them in the comments because I will definitely use them. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, comment any questions. Comment any video recommendations. Comment whatever you want. I love reading the comments. I love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. And in case nobody asks you, will you be my Valentine? You better have said yes. And if you didn't like this video, let me know why. I like to read my comments and improve. So let me know what you liked or let me know what you didn't like. Guys, love you so much. Mwah.